Greetings everyone, this is Ben from the Dice Stormers. The Dice Stormers have all just gone home after a long run, fantastic night of uh, role playing. And I thought just before I pack all this stuff up that I um, will give you a brief tour. We get a lot of questions about our audio setup and about the uh, digital maps and all that sort of stuff. So come and have a look, it's really exciting. So here is our fantastic gaming table. Uh, I've just set up a nice map here for you. How do we do this? And uh, yeah, how cool. Oh, very, very cool, is it? Um, all we've got is a projector projecting down onto the table, onto white paper. Uh, just a lovely, a lovely one of the flip maps, which I've got a digital version of, and then projected down to it. Well, something we've started doing more recently are these little white blocks. You can see here, and they're just painted white blocks, and the projector actually projects its color onto the surface of them. So now we've got the whole 3D thing happening, which is really, really cool. They're just uh, one inch blocks and two by two blocks and three by three blocks and a few different shapes and things like that so we can get that. Now how do I get that onto the table? Well, I have a digital projector up there which is just my theater projector, it's full HD. You really kind of want full HD so you get the as much definition as you can in the maps. Now it doesn't matter the specific angle or height of that as long as it bounces onto this over here which is a mirror hanging from the roof at 45 degrees. So if you just use your, use your level thing to get 45 degrees it's uh, hanging off nice, strong, sturdy hooks there so that it doesn't plunge down and kill my players. <laughs> so the image bounces from there. Normally that projector points it out, um, you know, theatre screen over there where we watch movies and I just hang this uh, when we're going to play. And that bounces the image straight back down to the table. The image is produced, actually I, I've used map tool and all sorts of different things, but at the moment I'm just simply using PowerPoint because it's really easy to set up the scale of the maps and get it absolutely perfect and right every time. And so I just flick from map to map really, really easily with a few keystrokes. What I've discovered in PowerPoint is you can have a map like this here. Uh, we were playing in the glassworks in Sandpoint and I've made some black shapes which I can simply, in sequence, send to the back one by one and you end up with, with ability to reveal parts of the map like that. And then if I want to cover the map again, I just send the whole map to the back and I can get between them. Those, ref those changes reflected directly on the table straight away. That's the video, which is going out an HDMI cable over to a surround sound decoder and a long HDMI cable up to the projector. And uh, yeah, woohoo. So then we've got Sirenscape, which is over here, Bump, which I just ran. It's uh, got the fantastic sound in, in surround. If you've got your surround decoder, then it comes out of the speakers all over the place, which is really, really cool. You can set off the different moods. You can plan through your adventure with every sort of different environment that you want, which is uh, really a high degree of control. And I've got some nice one shots here, like some spooky laughs and stuff like that. Check out the links and things in the bottom below the video and ask some questions. I think I've covered everything everyone needs to know. That's kind of our setup. Uh, look, we've got all sorts of extra stuff as well. Some lovely handouts we have for this game. The fantastic critical hit deck and critical fumble deck. And of course, what everyone needs is a, is a flashing D20. Woohoo! <laughs> and lots of really, really nice minis. Look, it doesn't actually make the role playing better or anything like that, but it certainly helps us to stay immersed, especially the sound. It helps us to really, it's helped us to maintain focus at the table and have lots of fun. And look, we just we just love our toys, so we really just we just love to play with them. So we're getting more and more toys. Yeah. If you have any questions, if I haven't covered anything that you want to know, um, ask some questions below in the comments, and we'll uh, get onto them as soon as much as we can. English speak too late. I'm gonna go to bed now. Maybe I'll clear up this little morning. Hello. Hello.